in a relationship with both of those guys and understanding, know, knowing how they was moving and dealing with them during that time, uh, what were some of the things that you remember about their relationship for us with one another for us? I, I loved it because I know, you know what I'm saying, they came from the mud together, and I always knew never to get, you know what I'm saying, too far on one side about opinions or what they had going on. So if they ever was arguing or, or whatever, disagreeing about stuff, man, man, whatever, you know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. brothers. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Wow. So do you, do, I mean, <laughs> when, you were, when you were dealing with everything uh, like you was dealing with it, you know, um, those moments, those times, were there ever moments where you and Pimp were just, it was just you and him one-on-one? Yeah, yeah, plenty of times. Uh, riding to and from. Houston, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just, just different trips, and we always connected on some on some grown man business. It's always was it always was about taking care of our kids and and, and creating opportunities for others. It never was just uh, frivolous conversation. Sometimes we would you know chop it up and just be joking and poking fun, but a lot of times it was always about future plans and, and creating opportunities. Wow, man, you know. Like I said, man, to to be be them been in a relationship with him and Bun like that, man. I was, wasn't in no relationship with them niggas. No. Yeah, you were. Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but to be in a relationship with both of those guys and understanding, know, knowing how they was moving and dealing with them during that time, uh, what were some of the things that you remember about their relationship for us with one another for us? I, I loved it because I know, you know what I'm saying, they came from the mud together, and I always knew – never to get, you know what I'm saying, too far on one side about opinions or what they had going on. So if they ever was arguing or, or whatever, disagreeing about stuff, man, man, whatever, you know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. brothers. So, you know, the great, the greatest thing is just understanding the both of them, how different they were and, and when they were in the mood to, to, to be approached or talked. It, it just took a lot of observation and, and placing yourself in the situation of being sought after. You know, some people don't be considerate and compassionate about the other person. They just see a star. So the first thing they think, ooh, a star, and they run up. You know what I mean? But that's another human being. That's another trill-ass nigga from Port Arthur. You don't just run up on niggas. You know what I mean? You give niggas their space. You be heard before you're seen. You dig? Because if I'm turning around talking to you and then you, hey, what's up? And I turn around and you right there, nigga, I'm, but shit, I'm clutching. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, I don't, hey, what, what's up, nigga? <laughs> Save, man. <laughs> Might get the wrong reactions. Man, um, so, you know, the the Port Arthur, uh, how far is Port Arthur from uh, Houston? Uh, 90 miles. 90 miles. Mm-hmm. So that's a good drive for you About and him to have a conversation, half. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, to and from. Uh, just going to do different things like that uh, that Source Magazine Texas uh, cover. Mm-hmm. Like we we had left the hotel and and went did that and was at the ranch and then we left from there and went to uh Beaumont to his uh parole office then we left from there and went to PA so we was always doing different things like that yeah yeah just just going and taking care of business yeah taking care of business yeah so w- the love in Houston how was it when you guys would go up to Houston and visit and go different places it's a different world. <laughs> That's the country, right? Where yeah, y'all where at. we come from. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Port Arthur is Port Arthur, man. They don't give a damn if you, if you shit Jay Z in that hole. Them niggas still gonna treat you funky. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Even though Pimp was one of one in that thing with two Bentleys and a mini match and shit, them niggas still was trying to act like these niggas. He owed them something or something. You know yeah. what I mean? So when we got to Houston, it was just a, a different time, a different place. We like, hey, shit, like we was in the fucking ghetto Hollywood. You know what I mean? Shutting the malls down and shit like that. Really? Yeah. What about same thing in Odessa? You were saying that earlier. Mm, Odessa is a different. Shout out to Odessa. Yeah, Odessa, man. man. He, missed his, PLC. he missed his plane. Odessa. Odessa was mad in the motherfucker. Boy, Odessa damn near jumped on our funk ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <laughs> they was mad. Yeah, we in motherfucker old school. I don't know who provided that shit. Nigga, we in an old school limo and shit selling CDs out the motherfucker window. <laughs> they waiting on pimp. We already know he didn't miss the flight, but shit, what the fuck? I'm finna get out there. Hey, sorry, he missed the flight. Fuck y'all, nigga. He be coming, he coming. Be down. Hey, nigga, get these CDs. <laughs> so what about the uh, 
Then we went perform, you know what I mean? We perform hard in the bitch and her and got out that bitch. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.